Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tony and I had a few people ask me to make a uh, a better video just showing the insides and how I have everything mounted uh, for the rack wireless Bobcat enclosure. So I'm actually going to swap out antenna. So I decided to pull it down and show you guys how it looks. Basically the front cover is plastic. It comes off. It's just, yeah, super easy. Got 12 screws all the way around and here's my Bobcat setup. Now you guys do see these little brass looking uh, heat sinks here. These are actually not part of the Bobcat. I installed these optional just to help keep things cool. Uh, I'm not sure if they do work or not, but I'll put them here just because the LoRa module, which is the transmitter and receiver, does get pretty hot um, when it's inside the enclosure. And also the CPU or the processing board uh, module right here does get pretty warm. So I'll put those just to help keep things a little bit cool. But you can see the Bobcat with no top cover. Um, everything just bolts directly to this plate. We got the PoE splitter, the ethernet cable runs from the house all the way through here, inside here, and it plugs into the splitter. Um, I could do a better job just trimming this off, but hey, whatever, you know. Um, I got the antenna connector here, and I got the rack wireless poster cable uh, attached to my 20-foot pole with the rack uh, 5.8 dBi antenna. But here it is, this is how it's mounted. You can see it's mounted onto the pole. Uh, super easy, um, not really adjustable. Once you mount to the pole, it's straight. You cannot tilt it or rotate it left and right, um, or you know, lean it left and right. But you can rotate the clamp. But yeah. But overall, that's the setup. Um, you can see how much space it has inside with the Bobcat mounted. Um, with the Bobcat, if you do just kind of do the math, trying to figure out if this works with your other hotspot miners or not. Uh, basically, just take the specs for the Bobcat and see. Uh, get a visual idea of how it works. Um, yeah. And then the plate or the cover does have a little bit of a little hump to it, so you can fit something a little bit, you know, taller if you want. Not really enough room, I would say, for a 4G hotspot setup inside here. But you do have additional ports and covers here. Also, along the bottom, if you want to run you know, external cables and uh, cables and stuff like that for like antennas for your hotspot, 4G hotspots, whatever, but not really much space. Could do a little bit more modifications, take this whole module, this whole board out of the Bobcat case and just bolt it down directly to the rack wireless enclosure. If you guys want more custom, customizing, which is uh, not a direct, you know, bolt on plug and play. But there you go. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the comment box below. And I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, guys. Until later.